Hallo? 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 Lately we have done two rather difficult Newtonian mechanics problems. So I thought it would be nice to do one that is quite easy. Certainly by all accounts a simple high school problem. It's a classic and some of you may already have done that in your high school days. Let's look at it for a minute. Here's a building and on top of the building is a dome. And the dome has radius capital R. It's a huge dome. And on the very top of this dome sits a person sitting still, not moving. That's the person. That's mass M. It doesn't quite look like a person, but that's your problem. It really is a person. The dome is so beautifully polished that any friction between the person and the dome can be completely ignored. So the friction coefficient between the person and the dome is zero. The person gives herself a small push, very small, in this direction. And so she is sliding down the dome and then there comes a point that she leaves the dome, that she is no longer in contact with the dome. Let's assume that that happens here. So she goes and then the remaining trajectory from here to the ground would be a parabola. The question is, what is this angle alpha at which that happens? I will help you just a little bit, although I don't think you need any help. When that person is sitting at the top here, no speed at all, then there is a force mg down, gravitational force, and so there is a normal force from the dome upwards. And somewhere, sometime later, when the person is here, there will also be a normal force radially outwards from the dome. It's the contact force between the dome and the person. The dome pushes in that direction. When the person is here, you should be able to convince yourself that that normal force outwards is smaller than what it is here. And that's because it has speed. That's the real reason. And so when the speed is high enough, there comes a moment that this normal force outwards is zero. And that's the moment that the person will lose contact with the dome. And I want to know at what angle alpha does that happen. Give me the angle in degrees. Two digit precision is fine. Three digit precision is also fine, but two is enough. So, I would really want to call this an easy high school problem. You may want to disagree with me. That's your privilege. Everything in life is relative. Have a nice day. Take care. And since I'm sure that 90% of you can solve this problem, I would think that at least 90% of my viewers will want to be friends with me again. Okay, take care.